since you've been in Hong Kong for a long time. People are very fast here. What's your definition of happiness? The Chinese word song is uh, super happiness. It's a huge change from being a university lecturer to a venture capitalist and uh, sort of starting your own business. Startup is kind of like not even a uh, word in the dictionary, right? People thought that you're crazy. This looks and tastes like real meat. It's 99% uh, uh, can fool people. Lee Kum Ki, uh, founder, accidentally invented oyster sauce. Uh, he overcooked uh, oyster soup. He said, it, he said wow, that great taste. <laughs> Family offices can basically run their businesses anywhere in the world. So why has Happiness Capital chosen Hong Kong? In three words, which three words sort of best describe Hong Kong as an international financial centre? We define it as like uh, five elements. Health, family, work, friends and hobby, then your overall well-being is uh, high enough to call it uh, super happiness. It was uh, 1988 when I started uh, doing AI research. And me and my supervisor um, kind of like, you know, devised some new approaches for uh, helping doctors to do, uh, you know, treatment planning and diagnosis uh, with, uh, with AI technologies. Well, there was a vacation though. But then I came back and uh, I always wanted to, um, to actually set up my new venture in Hong Kong, China, because I, I had worked in like UAE and UK for a long time. And, uh, and I really miss uh, the environment here and also the energy. And uh, as you might know, since you've been in Hong Kong for a long time, people are very fast here. I have to say 28 years and I agree with you about energy. It's a really energetic place yeah. to be. So my happiness is uh, the definition is almost uh, the same as our company's definition because I help also uh, came up with the definition, right? And um, well, first of all, we uh, we have to be healthy. So uh, if uh, we're not healthy, it's hard to be happy. So uh, we look at ourselves on the physical and also the psychological health uh, to make sure that the well-being is there. And then um, we look at the um, the relationship with our family and friends and also look at our work. I was wondering that, I mean, happiness means different things to different people. Um, how do you assess whether a, a company sort of fulfills the criteria before you make an investment? Uh, we spent the last nine months uh, to uh, look at all the different uh, tools available and metrics, and then we uh, partly created the happiness uh, return metrics based on global practices and partly based on our own creativity. And now we've come up with a, a pretty comprehensive uh, approach and methodology to, uh, to quantify the happiness that we're creating with our investments. Oh, that's interesting. So the ability to quantify happiness, that really sounds quite an interesting yeah. concept. Yeah, exactly. So what we do is like for every uh, portfolio company, we, uh, we first of all look at the stakeholders, all the stakeholders, including like uh, the staff, the, um, the customers, the future generation, the community, the government, even the planet. And then we look at the conditions and experience of happiness for each of these uh, stakeholders. And some of them might be uh, like a lot more happy and some of them might be a minus in happiness. So we then we aggregate all the scores to become a total aggregated score for the total happiness created by one particular portfolio company. So if we do well, that company might create more happiness. So it will be a, a number above one. And if uh, a, an investment fails in creating happiness and make more people sad, then the score might be like below one. But you must have a lot of uh, examples of sort of successful startups, but what do you, uh, just give me a couple of examples. What do you see as some of being right. the really successful ones? There are two. One is uh, called Redefine Meat in Israel. Another one is called Plantix in Germany, but their customer base is in India. So let's look at our redefine meat first. But both about, so that's interesting. So both food, both food related. Uh, yeah, it's about food, but also they uh, come with different kind of angles like uh, climate change, as well as uh, reduce inequalities. Okay. And I'll explain it a bit. Okay. Um, so redefine meat is a uh, company in Israel. Um, they invented technology to 3D print 
plant-based meat that gives you the um, whole muscle cut experience, which is uh, you know, unheard of in the market. So when you actually you know, do it with your cutlery, yes. you actually feel like all the connecting tissues is uh, spongy and it's chewy and put your mouth. So it gives you the, the same kind of taste and texture. We have another example called Plantix. So we can use very simple smartphone to take a picture of the crop that you think has a problem. And then you take the picture and upload to the cloud and the cloud will tell you, oh, the, the crop has this um, issue and how to fix it and what you need to buy to, uh, to, to kill it and uh, in order to uh, secure your, your um, field crops. So, um, so what it does is it helps farmers uh, to, to be educated in the process. And in fact, the latest survey with, uh, with um, a, um, about 500 farmers it's a representation of the, uh, the millions of farmers in India. 83% of the farmers uh, thought their um, quality of life has improved. So Happiness Capital, where did the idea come from? Well, first of all, um, the Lee Kum Kee family's mission statement says, uh, we strive to be the most trusted enterprise uh, for a healthier and happier world beyond a thousand years. A thousand years? A thousand years, indeed. And uh, so our vision is very uh, long term. And, uh, and the family also wants to benefit the community while they are doing business. So we invest in uh, startups and venture capital funds that create um, uh, products and ventures that make people happy uh, around the world. Yeah, actually there are three uh, unique advantages of Hong Kong um, that we love, that we really want to uh, continue to stay in doing business here. Uh, first of all, is the, the talents, a talent like yourself. We have uh, the best lawyer in town. Eric, thank, no need to say that, but thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, and you know, a lot of good accountants and also fund administration. We have the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. We have a lot of talents here to support the um, startup ecosystems here. And uh, the second is the location. We're in the central of uh, location in Asia, where we can actually travel to almost all the countries in Asia within five hours. Uh, sometimes I could have you know, hop onto a flight in the morning and still came back for supper okay. in Hong Kong. And, uh, and then also for international travel um, to like US and, and Israel and Europe for us, uh, it could be just like one good sleep when we'll we're there and um, we go there for a week and come back and we still use Hong Kong as a hub, take a rest and also work with partners to, uh, to sort out the uh, other stuff and, and go for a trip again. The third thing, Actually, uh, I didn't know until I talked to some of the uh, family officers' friends. They said um, Hong Kong is a fun place to live and work. Um, so Hong Kong can, uh, you have good food, you have uh, good lifestyles, you have good friends, good people here. And, uh, and you can actually do like swimming and water sports in the summer. And you can do hiking and biking in the winter. And you can still hop on to uh, like Japan for uh, skiing in the weekend and come back. And or massage in Thailand and come back again and over the weekend. So, uh, so people really enjoy lives here. Um, so uh, Hong Kong makes it very unique, and and we would love to uh, to continue to build our business in Hong Kong. Yeah. It's been a real privilege to spend some time with you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you.